Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have an exciting video, at least for me. I'm gonna be baking. I've been seeing a lot of like holiday treats and like baking stuff on TikTok that I wanna try out. And I chose to do three different recipes and they look really good. I have everything I need like laid out in front of me. I even did my makeup green to try and be festive. But yeah, I really wanna get started. I don't know which one I wanna make first. I just wanna like get into the video. So let's just go ahead and start. So the first thing I'm gonna make are these like little pretzel Hershey Kiss Rollo thingies. I already washed my hands and did all that stuff, so I don't think I'm dirty. I saved a TikTok in my phone, and I'm just gonna insert it in this video so you guys know what I'm talking about. And you guys can go check out their TikTok pages if you want. Easiest Christmas snack. Place pretzels on a tray and then top each one with a Hershey's Kiss. From there, pop it in the oven at 200 degrees for four minutes and top it with an M&M. So we're gonna start out with this one because it's pretty simple and easy. Um, so I need to go get a tray. I read the comments of the video and a lot of people say that it's also really good with Rolos. So not only did I buy the Hershey Kisses, but then I also bought a pack of Rolos. And then here are the M&Ms. So I'm gonna do half Rolos, half Hershey Kisses. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and line my tray. Let me just bend it here. But I can't fit. This is such a weird angle. <laughs> So these are the milk chocolate hugged by white cream kisses. And I'm gonna put these on the pretzels. How the frick do you? I didn't know that these were pre-wrapped. I have to unwrap them. I thought they, I had, okay. So I'm gonna spend a little time doing that. These look so cute already. You guys can't even see what I'm doing. It's gonna take me forever to unwrap each one. Okay guys, I'm back. It's like 20 minutes later. My camera died, like literally as soon as I started filming. So this is the progress. So now I'm gonna put the Rolos on the other half, but I'm trying to like have my camera angled so that you guys can see, but this is literally hurting my back. Like I'm bending over. Okay, I need to open this. This really hurts my back like so bad. But how is everyone's December going? Mine went by really quickly. Time just flew by and I feel like it wasn't, it didn't even feel like Christmas to me like this month. Okay, this is really hurting my back. So I just put all the Rolos and the kisses on. That's how they look. If it would focus. Oh gosh. So now I'm gonna bake these in the oven for four minutes at 200 degrees. Now I'm just gonna wait here. I hope the Rolos were supposed to go in at the same temperature. I didn't really find like directions for those, but. Aren't they supposed to be more melted? Yeah, um, why are these like not even, I'm confused. And then while they're still hot, I'm supposed to put on the M&Ms, but like this is not opening. Can this not? Okay. I just feel like these need to be baked more. Wait, let me look at the directions one more time because I feel like I'm not doing this right. In the oven at 200 degrees for four minutes and top it with an M&M. So clearly these aren't melted enough because if you see those two that I did, it's supposed to smush it and it's not. So I'm gonna put these back in the oven for a couple more minutes because what is that? That looks a little bit better, but the M&Ms on the ones that I put on are falling off those. So those ones look stupid. Now I might've made them a little too melted, but you know what, I don't care. <laughs> so ugly. Okay, so the roller ones are a complete mess. Maybe I just left them in for too long. We're just gonna put that here and just let those chill out for a bit. Should I try them now or should I try it later? I guess I'll try it later, like at the end when I'm done. I literally just found the TikTok for the Rolo one. This is how they're supposed to look. And then these are how mine came out. Let's just move on from that. Let's just, that's done. So the next one I'm gonna make are the hot chocolate bombs. I'm really excited for this one. So I went to Walmart and I checked like Michaels and stuff and I couldn't find the molds. So I just ordered one off Amazon. So this is like the circular mold I'm gonna use. But now that I'm looking at it, um, I don't know if I got the right size. These look kind of small. But it's fine. You're gonna need the molds, the chocolate, and then the mini marshmallows. And my mom has like this little 
hot cocoa bar over here. So I'm just gonna use some of the hot cocoa mix that she has in here already. Let me insert the little TikTok that I found this from. Like all these recipes that I'm doing are pretty simple. So I'm gonna cut up my expensive chocolate because this is $20. I went to Michael's to pick this up and um, I was like looking for the cheap ones, you know, the ones that are like $2, maybe a pack. And I couldn't find any, everything was completely sold out. And then this was like the only thing sitting in the aisle and I was like, okay, that's fine, I'll just get this. I went to check out, my total was like $40 and I was like, what did I buy? So this was $20. All right, so I'm gonna cut this open and then I think it's at about like 10 to 15 second intervals for melting. So I'm gonna keep doing the little 10 to 15 second intervals and keep mixing it until it fully melts down. And then I also have to wash this. So I'll just come back when I'm done doing that stuff. I just finished melting the wafers. So I'm just gonna like put the chocolates into the mold and then I have to put it in the freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm not gonna lie, it's been probably like two hours. The molds are definitely, oh my God, I almost dropped it. They're definitely frozen now or like solid. And so the next step is to just like pop them out and then fill them. So let's see if I did this right. Oh my gosh, do you hear that? I have to be really careful. I broke it. Here's the first one, Um, it kind of broke. Like, why can't I do anything right, honestly? This is supposed to be an easy task. They're all like cracking too much on the side, so I think I might have left it in the freezer for too long, or I don't know. Oh my gosh, all the edges keep breaking off. I don't know how people do so good. Wait guys, look. I think I got one good one, kinda. Okay, I found one perfect one, so I think I can get this one together. These are definitely way too small because the marshmallows, like barely anything is gonna fit in this. I'm just gonna try and like cram everything in here. give up on those ones and we're gonna wait till we get the new ones because those are just not good all right so these just came out of the freezer i think we just got to do it f quicker oh my gosh why is it actually working wow because alexa did it Okay, we're gonna leave it with those two. That's these three. <laughs> what is that? These are how they came out. They're really cute and small. For decorating, I bought some gold dust. I think I could like sprinkle over the top. And then I also got these green cane melts because these were like the other ones that I found that were like one of the only things left. I thought I could melt it down and like drizzle it over. So yeah, let's just try and make these look kind of pretty because they're not at the moment. Okay, so I'm putting these on the plate. I wanna put this dust on it, but I think I need a paintbrush, but I don't feel like finding one, so I'm gonna sprinkle it on top. I melted the chocolate, the green one, and I put it in this bag, and I'm gonna pipe it. Okay, I'm nervous. They look ugly already, so there's not much damage I can do. <gasps> oh 
Wait, why does it actually look good? <gasps> Should I sprinkle some of these on top or no? I'll sprinkle it on the middle one because the middle one is already kind of ugly. So if it makes it worse, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, we're gonna leave it like that. <gasps> it looks so cute though. I think it looks worse when I put the sprinkles on, so I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna put these in the fridge now because I don't want them to melt. And then uh, I'm gonna try everything like once I'm done with all three of the recipes. I'm finally gonna do the last recipe I have. So let me just insert the TikTok. It's kind of just basic. It's cookies and it's just like really cute because the insides cut out with a different kind of cookie dough. <laughs> fit my whole body because I'm pretty tall and this table is like not that tall. All right, so I couldn't find any like mini Christmas cookie cutters, but I found a pack from Michaels. So I have a bell, so that's kind of Christmas-like. A heart, another heart, and like this little like flower thingy like this. So those are what I'm gonna use. And I also couldn't find the kind of mix that they use. Like I couldn't find the chocolate cookie dough. So I just bought Pillsbury and then I'm gonna dye it and then I also have one candy cane and I'm just gonna like smash it into the cookie dough Can you guys see that eat or bake? So um, what's really in this if it's safe to eat raw? I'm obviously gonna eat this if it's safe to eat raw. So let me see Okay, so for the first one So let's make one green just for fun isn't the dough like not supposed to get too soft because then it's gonna be hard to like um, put on the thing because it's getting super soft already. Yeah, I'm gonna have to dye this separately, put it back in the fridge and then take it out, I think. So bad at this. Um, okay, so they see how the cookies look. They look awful. You don't need to tell me. I already know. Like, what is that? I am too tired to fix this. Um, I don't know how TikTok made it look so easy, but this is just gonna have to do. I kind of like this one though. That one's kind of cute. Um, these cookies are so ugly. Um, zero out of ten already. The oven just beeped, so the cookies are finished. Hopefully, I didn't burn them because I didn't even check on them. Why? Do you guys like my hat? I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the video. I'm gonna try the stuff that I made. This video was like kind of a fail, not really. I got two out of the three things right. Um, honestly, TikTok's really fooling you because none of this stuff was easy except for the first one. So the first thing I'm gonna try is the first thing I made, the little pretzel thingies. I'm gonna try the Hershey one first. Pretty good. I'm just like not really a fan of white chocolate. Um, let me try the one with the Rolo. Hmm. They're getting stuck in my teeth. I look so dumb with this hat on. But I'm gonna keep it on. Okay, so these are like a really cute little snack. It's just I feel like I'd have to be really like in the mood for something sweet. But it's like really cute. It's like a fun little snack. If you have like a sweet tooth, you definitely like it. And this was the most easiest recipe out of all of them. So I recommend trying these out. Um, I just don't really have that much of a sweet tooth at the moment, but I'm gonna rate those like an eight out of 10. Next, let's try the hot chocolate bombs. So I put it back in the fridge and I just took it out. This is how they came out. It is really cute. It's just, they're fooling you when they make it look easy because those must be some pros. Cause these were like kind of complicated to make, not gonna lie. They'd be fun if you were like making it with your friends, but I was getting kind of frustrated. I have this really big mug I'm gonna put it in. I don't really like drinking a lot of milk. It kind of disturbs me. I really drink almond milk. So I'm gonna heat this up in the microwave for like maybe like two minutes. Okay, so here's the cup of milk, and let's see what it happens. Oops. 
thing. Is it gonna break open? Like, it's slowly breaking apart. I'm just gonna speed up the process. I'm gonna try the hot chocolate in a second. It just looks way too hot. So I'm just not gonna drink that right now. For the hot chocolate bombs, I know it's gonna taste good. Just for the effort to make it, um, I'm gonna give those a six out of 10 because like it's a fun concept, but honestly, just like put the packet in your drink and you're good to go. If I didn't make them and like, I just like ordered it somewhere and I put it in my milk, I'd be like, wow, this is so cool. But like the effort it took to kind of make these. Um, lastly, we have, and they're super hard. I hate when cookies are like this. No, these are so ugly. Zero out of 10. Hate that. Well, that was definitely my fault because um, I probably should have bought a different dough. I'm gonna drink this now. It's still steaming. Pretty good. The only thing I think is, sorry, my cat's going literally insane, but the only thing I think is worth making are these thingies. Little pretzel snack thingies. I rate those an eight out of 10. Hot chocolate bombs, six out of 10 but they're really cute, so presentation-wise, it's 10 out of 10. And then the cookies I made are a zero out of 10. The one on the TikToks looks so good and like so cool. So obviously, if they came out like that, I would give it like a nine out of 10, but I made them terribly, so they're getting a zero out of 10. That is everything for this video. It is now 1 a.m. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of fun like making them, even though I kind of got a little mad at some parts, but thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.